So your main idea of um, improving it's mostly like transportation wise, the one that you're really focusing on. But what is it really like? Um, what are what are your concerns in terms of youth in Seattle? I think you know some of the things I mentioned earlier. I, mean, I, I think the real challenge. And it's, it's even harder when we have a tough budget and when we have high unemployment. Mm -hmm. um, but it's more essential than ever in those situations, is making sure that we are really working with community, working with community groups mm -hmm. to understand how can we provide meaningful and relevant activities and opportunities for youth. Mm -hmm. um, that is, an, you know, that, that's, you know, either, whether education, you know, or, or employment or volunteer activity, um, that helps keep them on a path to where they can um, be ready to succeed in life when they, you know, finish high school or when they head off to community college. So mm -hmm. I think we have to really focus on providing those pathways and really involve the entire community in, in that. Because there's no one single way for any, you know, you can't predict how, you know, the different paths that life can take you. I, mean, yeah, exactly. I never thought I'd run for mayor. <laughs> but if you can make sure you're providing people educational opportunities, good job opportunities, new ways to meet other people in the community, and, and we can create different pathways for people. Great. Um, also, there has been a lot of violence going on yeah. in terms of in the Seattle area with gang violence and things. What, what do you think about that? What are... Um, well, that's, I think that's the biggest... I, I mean, what I think is that we're... that people children that, you know, youth that drop out of school or get pulled into gang violence, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're seeking a, a community of peers, um, you know, support for, um, you know, in their community, and we've got to give them a different pathway to have exactly. a community of peers mm -hmm. that, that are doing something that's far more meaningful and productive in the long run. And what ways would you, um, can you be able to start that? So, like, maybe um, career, you know, job opportunities, maybe? Whatever. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, I think we, we have to be much more uh, directed with trying to come up with money, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, getting money from the federal government, stimulus money, or whether using our own resources mm -hmm. to create uh, employment, particularly mm -hmm. for youth. And I think we also have to really reach out into the community and say, um, you know, what are your ideas for um, involving youth in activities that can help train them for um, a future, or help give them good experiences, or help uh, you know make school more meaningful to them, exactly. and fund those community groups and support those community groups that are coming up with those ideas. Because I know, you know, everyone in the community cares about their children, and they want to they want to work on it. So I think that's the role of government, you know, not to come up with the solutions, but to 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 come to listen to the public. Mm -hmm. and to help come up with the resources and help organize within the community um, to support to support those types of things. Um, what are your um, concerns in terms of how uh, schools are, you know, running at this point, you know, considering how the economy is, how the economy, the way it is? So. I, think the, I think the biggest concern and, you know, the mayor doesn't run the school system, exactly. right? It's the school board and the superintendent. Um, although I, I think we should, you know, from, from City Hall, put a focus on schools. Um, one is having sufficient resources from the state. And I mm -hmm. think a mayor can help go down to Olympia to take care of that. Um, I think another one is, um, you know, can we fund other activities? You know, arts education, mm -hmm. music education. Um, can we support after-school activities in the schools mm -hmm. so that um, that would be a people, scapegoat in some ways for the kids, like a scapegoat or you know like an escape valve. They, yeah, yeah right, absolutely, a place where they can go and stay and and be secure. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I think there's a lot. I think there's a lot we can do um, to help support the schools. And I think the schools' budget and is so tight. You know, they're closing schools. We know that they're. They're changing the amount of transportation they'll provide, and they're finding it difficult enough just to fund the educational mission. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they're leaving out, you know, they don't have the resources to, you know, provide the types of additional activities that can make school much more relevant mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, for, for um, the community. So the city, so, I think, can help with that. So they're kind of forced to make a choice instead of kind of going with what is really significant for the youth. Is that what you mean? when you say 
You know, I, they only have so much in resources right now because the state only gives them so much. I mean, mm -hmm. that's why we have the families and education levy at the city level, okay. right, to help fund preschool education, um, to help fund after school programs. Um, I think it should also focus on um, identifying the, the, those that are most at risk of dropping out of school and, and helping find the reasons why and, and helping keep the kids in school. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about the TMF and the neighborhood matching fund programs? Love them. You love them? Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, in fact, I've won. I, I've, I've, I've gotten several neighborhood matching fund grants myself from mm -hmm. my neighborhood. And what's great about them is that um, um, you really spark, you know, the involvement of the community and, mm -hmm. and resources from the community with, the, with those neighborhood matching funds um, or the technology matching funds. So, mm -hmm. yeah, very supportive and would like to expand them if, if we can do so within our budget. Okay. Uh, with, with everything that we have uh, talked about, is there anything... Um, Anything else you want to kind of add and let, you know, the community know and, you know, like where you stand and which, what your changes are and what you're trying to add to the community at this point? Um, yeah, you asked me to share a little bit more about um, m my vision for the city or, or, or uh, what I care about. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, one of the things I understand is, is what makes a city great is the diversity of its people. And Seattle attracts people from all over the world. And they bring, you know, different cultures, um, different skills, you know, different viewpoints. And that's one of the things that makes a city exciting and, and great. Um, it's also a little bit personal for me as well. Um, uh, my father was himself the son of Irish immigrants. Mm -hmm. And his dad died when he was in high school. And one of the places that was really important in my dad's life was a place called East Side Settlement House, which was where he received mentoring and support as a teenager. And we have one in those uh, settlement houses in Seattle, too, called Neighborhood House, which, which also provides that kind of support mm -hmm. for immigrant communities. And um, he ended up being, you know, a real community leader in his community and, and ran teen programs and ran after-school programs for kids. Uh, my mom was an early childhood educator in uh, the school district on, in Long Island where I grew up and she got a grant from New York State to do early childhood education for children from disadvantaged homes. So I have an understanding of, you know, they're my role models and I have an understanding of what it means to have a commitment to community and working in the community and it's probably something that's, you know, they've been with me a lot on this campaign trail um, and they've been with me in my community work as well. Um, they passed away a number of years ago. Um, but I feel them pretty much every day when I'm out there talking in communities about, about how we can make things better. And I know that you have to engage the entire community to make things work. Mm -hmm. In fact, not only do I know it, it's, I'm not sure I know any other way to do stuff, um, whether working in Greenwood or in the Sierra Club or in my nonprofit Great City, you know, representing grad students at the UW. The way you get things done is you engage people. You listen to them, you ask for their ideas, um, and you support, you support people with good ideas and energy and enthusiasm. And I know that the people of Seattle, you know, really care about the city. They, they become engaged. Um, they, they volunteer. Um, we even occasionally argue. But the only reason we argue is because we care. And as long as we recognize that, that, there's, that, that we're trying to build a place that includes everybody, provides opportunity for everybody, um, and challenge each other to make sure we include um, everybody in the success of the city. Um, I'm confident we can make progress and, and that's the kind of mayor I want to be and, and that's why I'm running. I um, very much want to um, work with communities to, to build a city that we can really believe in. Um, I'd like to thank you for coming and it was very pleasure talking to you and thank you for you know sharing your ideas and um, just having for you to like open up about your family as well and I re we really do appreciate you and thank you. Thank you. All I right. appreciate it. Right. So, Tariq, yes. what did you get out of the interview with McCain? Um, from interview Mr. McGain, um, I have gained uh, understanding of what he's, what her goals are and in terms of what he's trying to contribute to the community, what he's trying to do, and um, the changes he's, he's willing to make, and as well as some of the issues that are facing our community. So I think those are the main pinpoints and valid points that he mentioned. Okay, so could you explain some of his ideals and goals? Some of his ideals and goals are um, um, 
improving the transportation as well as bringing the different communities like for example the Demi community the Eritrean community Kenyan community you know Somalian community just east east african as well as like west africans any like all the africans come bringing the, all the communities together will um will support or um will create a networking where we can all be able to use each other as a resource okay so who are the other candidates for uh, mayor um, the other candidate that is running for mayor is Joe M Malan, um, who will be um, coming here next next time, pretty much. He will be we'll be interviewing him as well. So yeah. Okay. So, thank you, Tariq. You're very welcome. Okay.